Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Libra. Libra, this is your weekly general reading for the 23rd through the 29th of December 2019. Please keep in mind, this is an intuitive reading. Now, Libra, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I wish you all the blessings. All right, so I'm pulling from the messages from your animal spirit guides. I'm also using the Morgan Greer Tarot for your weekly general messages. And Libra, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling several fairy oracles for you as well. Oh, beautiful. We have Stag Spirit. Take the lead. All right. Love it. Powerful energy right there. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Libra, sun, moon, and rising spirit. What does Libra need to know this week? 23rd through the 29th of December, 2019. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Libra, sun, moon, and rising. What does Libra need to know this week, spirit? Thank you. All right, we're ready. Situation of the week, we have the Four of Swords. Crossing you is the Queen of Cups. And your foundation is the Five of Rods. Recent past energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Crowning you is the Seven of Pentacles. Your new circumstance is the Nine of Swords. From the bottom of the deck, love it. And this is going with the energy of the stag spirit. We have the two of rods. Very powerful energy right here. All right, Libra. Let's start with the stag spirit. Take the lead. There's some area in your life where you're being asked and guided to maybe step into a new role, a new experience. Um, it, it, it's time to take the lead. This could be a leadership role. This could be moving up within a company. Uh, this could be, you know, a situation that you've been dealing with and it's time for you to step up and take control over it. This is going to mean many different things because there are so many of you watching. But Spirit wants you to know you have the power within you, no matter what your situation is or circumstance is, okay? You got this. Now, what's amazing is you have the two of rods coming up here as your overall energy. You know, these two are going hand in hand. For many of you, this talks about, you know, you really stepping into your power here. This is, this is empowerment, personal empowerment that's coming through. This is you understanding that taking a lead here, that it doesn't matter which door you choose to walk through or which path you choose to go down there is no wrong choice there is no wrong decision decision you're going to own it you're going to rock it okay and this is you being aware of that this isn't like being at a crossroads with the two of swords the crossroad you know the two of swords is that energy of the crossroads where you know you feel stuck you feel like you're going to make the wrong decision. This is you knowing that there is no wrong decision because you're stepping into your personal power here. Thank you, Spirit. But it requires you to take the lead, okay? Now, we have the Four of Swords coming up here as your current situation. I love this. This is taking time out to pause and reflect, going within. This is you understanding that all the answers that you're seeking lies within you, okay? For some of you, you need a rest, whether it's physical or mental, a temporary retreat right here. I feel like that all the answers that you are seeking, you know, this is that space where, where you make that time to go within and embody that energy of the high priestess, which we all have that energy within us. This is where that wisdom comes from. This is where that inner guidance, listening to our intuition and inner strength. That's when we allow ourselves to listen to ourselves. It's going to be very important for you to check in with Libra this week, okay? And honor your feelings and your emotions. 
all of them. Okay, that's very important. Now we have the Queen of Cups coming up here in your crossing position. Whether you're male or female, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You know, this is that energy of you being very intuitive. Okay, this is that energy of empathy. Compassion. With this being in your crossing position, I do feel at this time that for some of you, you're dealing with or that you're feeling these, you're embodying this energy of maybe emotions running high at this time. And it's going to be very important that you, you ground yourself, you go within, and you take the lead within this situation. Okay? Listen to your intuition. That's coming through very strongly. Pay attention to your dream, signs, symbolism, and synchronicities as well. Now you have the five of rods coming up here in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week, Libra. Some of you, there has been some setbacks. Okay, there's been a wrench thrown in your plans. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen or, you know, you're not going to be able to achieve what it is that you're setting out to do here. What that means is you may be dealing with a divine detour. Know that you're being divinely guided. Be patient with yourself as well as the process. For some of you, this is an inner battle or an inner struggle here. But with it coming up here in your foundation, I love this because this is what you're using as fuel. So you're understanding that spiritual alchemy and you're, you, you're doing that within yourself. You're using this challenge or whatever this setback is as fuel to transmute it into something positive. Okay, so that's amazing in itself. Now, in your recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, and you're still feeling this energy because it's coming up in your reading. You know, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, this is the energy of something, a turn of advance or something happening very quickly. And it's going to be very important that you're riding with the wheel and not against it. Because this is something that is destined to take place, okay? There's change that's coming. Spirit wants this energy to re-inspire you, not to hinder you, not to uh, cause you to feel like, whoa, things are going too fast or I'm not sure. That's why it's going to be very important for you to take the lead. Take time out to pause and reflect here. You want to be riding with this, not against it. There's still time to get on and ride with it, Libra, okay? And I see you doing that with you using the spiritual alchemy here in your foundation. When you're able to do this and you're re-inspired, it allows you to take chances. It allows for you to break free from that five energy. It allows for that change of luck to come into your situation. And it happens very quickly. Now, we have the Seven of Pentacles in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. Many of you are taking time out to pause and reflect how you're going to spend your time or your money in the betterment of your situation. This could be you uh, thinking about going back to school, maybe investing a pinnacle or two uh, in taking a class. Maybe this is you you know, investing in a business, maybe taking the time out to invest your time in a career or a job change, something that's going to help you, something that's going to be more fulfilling, okay? I feel for many of you, you're wanting to take charge, you're wanting to go after something that's going to bring you more fulfillment in your life, especially when it has to do with what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, your money, your career, your job. Now, we do have the Nine of Swords coming up here as your new circumstance. Very interesting, and as soon as I seen this and it came out, the first message that I got from Spirit was, you know, you have felt very overwhelmed, okay? You've had a lot of anxiety. You've had some sleepless nights, but as you can see in this card here, you see that you have all these swords, but you're bound, but this is, you know, Spirit is saying that it's up to you to break free, okay? This is... You know, Spirit's asking you, are you ready to break free? Are you ready to come out of that energy of whatever's been keeping you feeling bound or tied or limited or restricted? It's going to require you to break yourself free from that. And I see you breaking free. That's why I didn't clarify this. You're coming out of this. 
you're going to have the clarity that you need to break yourself free. Okay? And you're going to take the lead in this situation. It's going to allow for you to step into your power. And this is personal empowerment here, Libra. And this is exactly what you're going to do. Because you're going to take the required time here to take time out and pause and reflect. Going within. You know, and you're going to find those answers within yourself. And when you do so, when you listen to your intuition right here, if there has been anxiety, if emotions have been running high, you're going to be able to get control back over that, over your life, over your emotions, just over your situation. <coughs> Excuse me. And, you know, you are doing the spiritual alchem al alchemy process. Okay, I'm getting tongue twisted. You guys, please bear with me. You're doing the spiritual alchemy right now. Okay, with the inner work, with what you're working towards, what you're going after with the Five of Rods. You are transmuting anything that's been challenging and difficult into something that's positive. You're using it for fuel here. You know, you've recently had a, a turn of events, a big change. Some of you may not have been on board with it. You may have been riding against this will. You may have been afraid of change. Spirit says the opportunity to get on and ride with the wheel is still here, but it's up to you, okay? Uh, for many of you, you're pausing and reflecting how you're going to spend your time and your money in the best positive way in your situation, whether it's investing money, investing your time in a business or in education, a new job, a new career. It's up to you to break free here with this Nine of Swords. And, you know, the Nine of Swords is mirroring the Wheel of Fortune. And Spirit says, you've got this, Libra. You're, you're going in the right direction. But it's important for you to get on board and take the lead here. Take that power and control over your situation, your life, what you're going through. And you have all that power within you to do so. There is no wrong choice. There is no wrong decision. Thank you, Spirit. We have choice, we have discovery, and we have courage. Thank you, spirits. Choice. You're in control of your choices set before you. My goodness. Thank you, spirit. Further confirmation here. Discovery. Behold the world with new eyes. There may be something that you need to see from a different perspective, a new way of looking at it. Courage. Courage is found in the power of the heart's truth. Be honest with yourself. Okay? Honor your feelings, your emotions. All right, Libra. I love each and every one of you with all my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on with you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to each and every one of you. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Libra.